Good day, everyone. My name is Zhao Wei, and I'm excited to present our work of fusion neural rendering. Neural radiance fields, or nerves, typically struggle to reconstruct 3D things under the fusion scenario, as you can see from the video here. In contrast, our free nerve enhanced fusion neural rendering with simple techniques that can be implemented in just a few lines of code. Free nerve employs two techniques to adjust this issue. First, it stabilizes fusion nerves training through frequency regularization. Next, we apply other proposed novel and effective occlusion regularization to penalize the near camera floaters. We achieve new state of the art performance on free benchmarking datasets and with minimal computation overheads. What sets free nerve apart? is its simplicity. Unlike previous methods that relied on pre-trained models or depth deformation, our free nerve doesn't require any pre-training, nor does it depend on additional information like depth. It's easy to implement with just a few lines of code and quick to execute. Our motivation stems from the frequency domain. Using frequency embedded positional encoding is a common practice in training nerves. The Fourier feature network shows that high frequency mappings enable faster convergence for high frequency components. However, this can be problematic in fusion nerve learning as overly fast convergence lead to catastrophic overfitting, causing the thin reconstruction learning to fail. To validate this hypothesis, we transmit nerve with mask signals. We mask the high frequency encoded bits and only input MIP nerve with low frequency bits. When tested across different masking ratios, we discover that the quality of the scene reconstruction with only low frequency inputs is significantly better than the produced by the original nerves, despite the results being noticeably over smooth. In addition, when high frequency bits were exposed, the quality of the scenes starts to decline considerably. This phenomenon underscores the fundamental role of a frequency in nerve training, especially under the fusion scenario. With this insight, we designed our frequency regularization to augment flat nerves. We begin the training process by masking these high frequency bits initially and unmask them later, as shown in the animation here. Our frequency regularization enables the model to focus on the low frequency geometry initially, which could potentially enhance the reconstruction quality. Then, we gradually unmask the high frequency bits over the course of the training, allowing the model to progressively learn these high frequency details. Here, we show another animation to demonstrate the frequency regularization process. Applying this technique alone can achieve near state-of-the-art performance, demonstrating the simplicity of our method. We also identify another issue in visual neural rendering, floaters. Although a model can learn to predict the appearance of the training views precisely, its geometry prediction is usually inaccurate for views with one-shot observation, as seen in the example here. This bad geometry often manifests in the form of floaters or walls in the novel views, as you can see from an animated example here. Let's see a concrete example. Say a ray is cast towards this white pixel. There are multiple ways to explain the density distribution along the ray. However, we found that the nerve model usually predicts the least overlap region with near camera filters. But this kind of density distribution is no ideal, as it will set filters in front of the cameras. Therefore, we propose the regu occlusion regularization method to alleviate this issue. Specifically, free nerve pushes the density of objects the near camera regions to zeros, 
and learns to explain those areas in a further place. These two steps will lead to this occlusion loss. With the occlusion regularization, of a method can remove the floaters efficiently. To sum up, free nerves augment the plant nerves with two techniques. Both of them are free branches that come at no additional computational causes. We use frequency regularization to stabilize nerve training and occlusion regularization to adjust floaters issues. They are easy to implement and trivial to compute. As can be seen from the pseudocode here, both techniques in free nerve can be done in just a few lines of code, or even just two lines of code. With this simple design, free nerve achieves state-of-the-art performance on three benchmarking datasets and with minimal overheads. It takes nearly the same time as planned nerves whereas other methods usually take more than twice as long to finish training. We have released other codes. Please refer to our paper and our open source code for more details. Thanks for watching.